and that's how it goes. You never ever know about the NWO. Deep behind enemy lines for October 23rd, 2020. Researchers provide the most detailed, complete record yet of Earth's last magnetic reversal. More Earth changes and geopolitical upheaval, and another update to the New World Order from the No Link News Desk. Move over, harp tards. You'll not see this news or earthquake prediction from Doomsday Dumbass Disinfo Dutchie's Magic 3D Earthquake Crystal Ball first. So in case you miss it, or you want to wait around for sloppy seconds from Dumbass Disinfo Doomsday Dutchie, let's get to the science of things today. Back in 1998, Mitch Petros rocked the global warming Agenda 21 community with his space weather earthquake forecast equation and it went something like this. Sunspots trigger solar flares. Solar flares trigger the Earth's magnetic field to weaken. A weakening Earth's magnetic field triggers ocean stream currents to shift and jet stream currents to shift. Shifting jet stream currents and shifting ocean stream currents trigger extreme weather and human disruption. So laid out in 1998, this equation, Mitch Petros shocked the world in describing how the Earth's magnetic poles were going to one day flip on its axis. Yeah, nearly 25 years of research, and today, today, we are back once again with this major developing story. So, well, hey, I think it's quite fitting just to point out, hmm, how long it'll take dumbass disinfo doomsday Dutchie to pass this latest news on to his half a million subscribers. Because, uh, you know, here at No Link News, we already know dumbass doomsday Dutchie's a little slow when it comes to earth changes. <laughs> So needless to say, sliding over and transitioning to this story today, um, Earth's magnetic fields typically switch every two to 300 millennia. Yet the planet has remained steady for almost twice that now. And the last magnetic reversal occurred 773,000 years ago. A team of researchers based in Japan now have a better understanding of the geophysical events leading up to the switch and how Earth has responded since then. Here's an article published today. The breaking news here at the No Link News Desk. Me a second here to see this. Oh, I guess. Wait a minute. Where's this taking me to? Oh, it's it's some kind. Oh, get off that right. Clickbait site. Well, anyways, I'll finish up this article as I transition to the next scene. As you see, the article here from Japanese researchers. The researchers published their results on September first in the Progress in Earth and Planetary Science Journal. Name for the geophysicist who discovered past geomagnetic reversals 
that the mature mama brunches geomatic reversal matua ma matua ma brunches okay mat to a ma mat to a ma i'm trying to say this word brunches geomagnetic reversal is one of the most studied palomatic events according to the paper author yuki hanada project researcher at the national research of polar and postdoctoral research fellow at the National Institute of Industrial Science and Technology in Japan, such reversals swap the magnetic poles of the planet, which could have implications for plant and animal life. Such exploitation to life, including humans and our ancestors, depends on the duration of the magnetic flip. Previous studies by researchers examined samples from lava flows, Dutchy, which offer a good snapshot of moments in the geophysical history, according to Hanada. However, lava sequences cannot provide continuous palimetic records due to the nature of sporadic eruptions, Hanada said. The series of studies based out of Italy suggest that the magnetic reversal took place within a single century. In a blink of an eye, in the scale of hundreds of thousands of millennium. So, once again, in this study, Japanese researchers collected samples and conducted palo and rock magnetic analysis of samples from the Chiba composite section a continuous and expanded marine succession in central Japan. To reconstruct the full sequence of the Matuma brushes geomagnetic reversal, Hanada said, the Chiba composite section is widely considered to contain the most detailed marine sedimentary, sedimentary, sedimentary record of Matuma Ama Brunch's geomagnetic reversal. According to Hanada, and services as the international standard for lower boundary of middle Pestoni subseries and Chibane stage when Homo sapiens emerged as a species. So there we go. In the last polar reversal, Humans emerged as a species, researchers found, that the geomagnetic field became unstable at least 10,000 years prior to the magnetic direction change 773,000 years ago, and the full reversal process took less than 20,000 years. So, this data is one of the most detailed paleomagnetic record during the Matuma Brunches geomagnetic reversal, offering deep insight into the mechanism of the geomagnetic reversal. Hanada said, Next, the researchers will investigate how the geomagnetic reversal influenced plankton and plants using marine fossil and pollen data found in their samples. So, for more information, you can find this at the Progress in Earth and Planetary Science 2020. What the heck? I'm trying to open that up. Why doesn't it want to open up? Oh, that's why. The tab's in the wrong spot. So, come back here and show you the study. Mm -hmm. See where Dutchie's at. See, he's so smart at forecasting earthquakes, but I bet he don't have a clue when the last polar reversal occurred. <laughs> and so here you go. There you go, collection. You all want to look for that uh, article. Published September 1st, 2020. I am Never Know Patriot Broadcasting 
and Liberty Tree Radio field reporter number 8,510. And as always, God bless the Republic. A death to the New World Order. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. We shall prevail. <laughs>